Hi, Bob Coppage, Crotch Hill Geek. Um, I've been seeing over the past month or so uh, a really clever, i got to give the bad guys credit, a real uh, clever way to use otherwise useless uh, uh, data that's been gathered over the, through the dark web to try to get some money out of people. And I want to share this with you. So I got this email, and I've actually gotten several derivatives, double versions of this, but it's basically a bad guy saying, hey, I've got your information. I've hacked into your systems. I have all of your records, all of your documents, all of your emails. Plus, I've actually even recorded you using your camera, what you've been doing. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. And it actually gives a password that you use to prove, as proof of concept, that they actually do have your data. It's a bluff. Here's what happens. When you sign up for a third-party website that you want to go a stamp collector's website, and you create a new account there using your email address and you create a password. They get hacked, not you, they get hacked, and the bad guys either themselves or they then go resell that those credentials out on the dark web. The bad guys get these credentials, and let's say they're useless. All that site does is contain a, a, a mailing list. So they've, they've got the email address and they've got the password. Hopefully you're not using the same password on other more meaningful sites. So they've got nothing. So what do they do? They bluff. They send emails to p these email addresses using this password to prove, to say, we now have all this information. Like, for example, this password. And then they try to bluff you into thinking that they've actually got access to all of your other data. And if you pay this relatively small amount, 500 bucks, under $1,000, they'll release, they'll, they'll make it so that they won't release that, that information to the world. So they're preying on your fear that this was actually not an isolated incident, which it was, and it, wasn't actually, it, it was actually your data on your system, which it wasn't, and that they've got your information, including things that you've done, uh, bad things that you've done that you didn't realize were being recorded. Bluff, bluff, and bluff. But it's an attempt to actually you know, get blood out of a stone uh, by, by bluffing their way into making you think that they actually have more access to this information and your information than they do. So ignore these, curse them quietly, curse them as loudly as you want. They're not recording it when you do. You can ignore these. In any case, Bob Coppage, CEO of Simplex IT and Crotch the Old Geek. Thanks.